Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to another Wild Rift video and in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys a full beginner's guide to Karma and as you can see I have a lot of dummies across the map and there is a reason for it because there's a lot of different things that you can do with Karma. So in the beginning part of the video I'm going to explain to you guys how to uh, um, 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 use her abilities very simply there are timestamps in the description because i'm going to explain how to combo her abilities how to use her abilities in a different way and how to abuse her passive in a good way how to build her how to play her etc etc there's timestamps in the description so let's get into it her passive very simple basically seraphine passive 2.0 like it's literally the same as you can see under her health exactly the same as seraphine but with three abilities so when you use so I'm just gonna reset it. So when you use an ability, one, you know, whatever ability, two, and then three, your next ability becomes enhanced. It becomes stronger. Your first ability, second ability, and third ability become enhanced. And you can see it with this, like you see that, that thunder around them. That's how it shows you it's enhanced. So let's talk about each individual ability. Trust me, Shen, or sorry, Karma is not that hard to understand. Don't let all of this scare you. So first of all, you fire a blast of energy. This is your first ability. So as you can see, you fire a blast of energy. So the normal one fires a blast and it deals damage to an enemy. Very simple. It fires a blast and it slows the enemy by 35% for 1.5 seconds. This ability deals AoE damage. So as you can see, if you hit enemies that are close to each other, you will damage both of them, right? Like as you can see, you will damage both of them. So really, really good. If you shoot this ability when it's enhanced, when you have the three stacks under you, it's stronger. First of all, it deals more damage. Secondly, um, it creates like an area after you hit an enemy. Let me show you the area. So boom, it deals damage. And then you see that area and it deals damage again. So the enemies that are standing in this area, so let me show you real quick. The enemies that are standing in this area will get slowed by 50% and then the area explodes to do even more damage so the initial damage is bigger and then the damage afterwards is good too so as you can see boom it deals massive damage and then after 1.5 seconds it deals even more damage it's going to be very hard for the enemies to escape this because they're going to be slowed by 50 percent so if like the enemy that you hit is it's basically going to be impossible to escape unless they have unless they're super fast so now let's talk about the second ability to understand this one very easily we're not going to read through all of it because it doesn't make sense to read through all of it. It's basically like Morgana's ultimate. It's exactly the same as Morgana's ultimate. Look. So, okay. The thing that this ability does, you can only hit up to two enemies. As you can see, if there's three enemies, I can only hit two. And you will hit the two closest enemies. So as you can see, if I'm close to this guy, I'll hit this enemy. So you'll hit the two closest enemies. After this short duration, let me just show you again after the duration which is gonna be um for 1.75 seconds so boom after 1.75 seconds you will root the enemies a very important detail about this ability which i'll show you on this dummy is you will reveal the enemy as you can see you see those eyes right there you will reveal the enemy so karma is good against invisible enemies if there is an evelyn or something like that you reveal the evelyn by attaching to her and um um um, after the route, you'll reveal her as well. A quick little trick that I have for you guys. This is just a little trick. And let me actually show you. Let me show it this, this to you in a different way. Uh, fog of War turned off. Uh, enemy dummy. Okay. A cool little thing that you can see is that uh, it actually doesn't work. Wow, they took this away. I thought that this would work. So, yeah. You will actually not be able to use your second ability if an enemy is invisible. That's actually funny. It's funny that they've chosen to do that for Karma. Because I remember this was a thing for Karma. But no, you cannot. So if an Evelyn is invisible, you can actually not know she's around you by your second ability. However, if you see her, like if you see the Evelyn like this, then proc your second ability, she will become, in, uh, she can like... She, you can see her. This is much, much better against champions like Akali, for example, right? And against Kha'Zix. Like, let's say Kha'Zix goes in his ultimate, but you've changed him, changed him up. You will still be able to see him, even though he becomes invisible with his ultimate. So very, very important detail about this ability. So let's say you get the buff, right? Like, let's say you use three abilities and then you use the, uh, the second ability. The things that it does is it deals a little bit more damage and it roots the enemies for a significantly longer period. As you can see... Boom, 
the route is significantly longer. Instead of 1.75 seconds, it becomes 2.25 seconds. And this skills with level up, like at level one, it's only one second, and then the enhanced duration is 1.5. And then the higher level you get, the longer it is. Basically, the enhanced route duration is 0.5 seconds longer. This is especially important when you have it at level one, because then it goes from one second to 1.5 seconds, which is huge. So now let's talk about the third ability grants an allied champion or yourself as you can see you can shield yourself too it grants a shield uh, it skills with ability power for you get the shield for three seconds and you get movement speed so as you can see while i'm walking boom bonus movement speed for 1.5 seconds it's not huge but it's okay like if your jinx is attacking the enemy boom quickly give this shield to your jinx just to give a little bit of buffing and movement speed but then if you have the stacks, if you have the three stacks, the enhanced ability is where it gets real fun. The shield gets bigger. That's the first thing. Your ally gets much more movement speed for a way longer duration. Like the normal shield only gives 45% movement speed for 1.5 seconds, as you can see. But the enhanced shield gives you 60% decaying to 20% over the same duration which is going to be four seconds. So this is huge. This shield is much, much stronger. So if you give this shield to yourself, let me show you. Boom. You get the shield for four seconds and it and and um, I'm going to get bonus movement speed. I'll talk about what the hell happened here. I'll tell you about it. So the second buff that it gives is let me show you. So if there's any any of your allies close boom it transfers the shield both of you guys both of your allies get the shield happens to you too by the way as well so let me show you yet again if you just use random abilities so let's say i buff this person boom and i get into this range boom it transfers it to me as well and the cooldown gets reset so like um if my ally wait let me show you if my ally gets buffed and then after three and a half seconds i buff myself I get the buff for four seconds. So let me show you. Boom. And then boom. One, two, three, four. You see? So this is huge. This is huge. It transfers through your allies. And you can basically buff multiple enemies. So which empowered ability do you use when? I'll tell you about that after explaining the ultimate. The ultimate is similar to Diana's ultimate, although it's a bit different. You can throw it. Boom. As you can see, there is like a circle in the middle and then an outer half. In the circle, whoever you hit, you will slow by 50% for one second. So this dummy, boom. Wait for it. Boom. Slow for 50% 50, uh, 50 for one second. But if you hit the dummy on the outer half and if you hit enemies on the outer half, it airborns them to the middle. This is huge. Boom. Just like that, you see. So if you can get all of the enemies in the middle like this. This is really, really big. If they're already in the middle, you're not going to affect them. But if they're not, boom, you shoot them towards the middle. Very strong team fighting ability. Another thing to understand about the ultimate is, if you after you've lost your stacks, your ultimate will give you full stacks. So a very important thing to understand, before using your ultimate, use an empowered ability. So empowered ability ultimate. I'm already telling, telling you about combos. Again, I'll tell you fully about the combos afterwards. But yeah, that's a, that's a quick little thing to understand. So now the question arises, which empowered ability do you use and when do you use it? So let me tell you, there's two ways to play Karma. Karma as a carry and Karma as a support. When you play her as a carry, you go for this build, Ludens, Echo, etc, etc. I'll tell you more about this build afterwards. And then when you play as a support, you go for supporting items. So when you play Karma as a, as a carry, you're going to be looking forward to the empowered first ability. Because you're going to be dealing a lot of damage with it. And by the way, the order that you want to be upgrading your abilities... When you play Karma as a carry, you first fully upgrade your first ability, then you fully upgrade your third ability, and then you fully upgrade your second ability. You can choose to upgrade your second ability as well if you want to have a longer root duration. And I actually recommend that one. Like the, the thing is, it just depends. Just always upgrade your first ability and then afterwards either your second ability or your third ability. I actually said it wrong. You're supposed to upgrade your second ability. I read it wrong. You can choose the third ability as well, but keep in mind, First ability, always first when you play carry uh, uh, karma. And then when you play support, you always take your third ability first. This is going to be your first one. Then you take your second ability, fully upgraded. And then lastly, your first ability. So now, now let's talk about the empowered ability. So let's say you have an empowered ability to shoot. You're, if you're playing carry karma, you're going to be looking forward to empower your first ability because it deals a lot of damage. 
when you're playing support, you're going to be looking forward to empower your third ability and your second ability. But mostly your third ability. As a support, your empowered third ability is going to be really important because you're transferring the shield. So yeah, as I carry, as I said, more often than not, you're going to be looking to empower your first ability. But you can also empower your second ability if you want to. Like if, you, if you're very close to enemies and you know you can root them for a long duration, boom, this and then keep attacking, right? And you can root them for a long time. So now let's talk about some combos. First of all, just so you know, you can combo flash with your first ability. So if you're too far away, uh, wait, if you're too far away, boom, you can do it like that. I don't really recommend you to do this too often, but just so you know, you can basically. So a good combo is first ability, second ability. Very simple combo, but the reason that it's good is because your first ability slows the enemy for 35%, right? Like First ability and then second ability. You can very easily keep them in this range because they're slowed and root them for a, like it's just easy. Second combo is if you're a bit closer to the enemies, second ability and then first ability to slow them and then they're rooted. The next combo that I have, like there's just a million different combos, but like I'm just gonna explain the important ones. First ability to slow, second ability to root, then your ultimate. And then you can use your first ability again to do massive, massive damage. Keep in mind, you want to be using an empower, like you want to prepare yourself for this fight by either having two stacks or three stacks. And then like, depending on what you want, do you want a longer route? Then you shoot your first ability and then your second ability. Do you want more damage? Then you use your second ability and then your first ability. And then after you use your ultimate and then you use another ability. Okay, it sounds a bit complicated, but if you get it, you get it. It's actually quite simple. Another easy combo is second ability ultimate. Like if you don't want to use your first ability or if you want to save your first ability after the ultimate, basically you have to approach um, you have to approach the team fight with full stacks. So if you approach a team fight like this, the way that you can start it is use your second ability on two people, boom. After you root them, you wait a little bit because the route is really long. Then you use your ultimate and then you instantly use your first ability. The reason why this is an insanely good combo is because, so let me show you. Let's say you approach a team fight with three stacks. You, you see two enemies, second ability, then you use your, like you root them. You wait until the root is almost running out. Then you use your ultimate to shoot them to the middle. Then you use an empowered first ability to do massive damage and slow all of them. So let me show you. Second ability, you can basic attack in between. Root, wait, then you use this and then get close to both of them. And then boom, you will do massive AOE damage. This is like the all-in combo. This is like the strongest all-in combo that you can do. Yet again, let me explain it because this one is the most important one. Approach a fight with full stacks. You can even flash in second ability, basic attack, basic attack. Then you wait, you ult, you get close to the middle and then boom, first ability. This is like the ultimate combo. About your third ability, you can use this whenever you feel like you need. Like there's no real combo with it. It's just a shield. Like it's just a shield. Who cares? You can shield whoever you want and whenever you want. That's basically what I have to say about it. Um, if you don't have any stacks, by the way, you can also approach a fight with your ultimate and then first ability, second ability. Always use an empowered first ability after your ultimate, even if you're playing support karma, because it's just so powerful. Like, look, if you get all of them close, boom, you hit all of them. You will hit all of them. Like, look, ultimate, first ability, you will hit three enemies with it and you will slow all of them. It's worth anything. Like it's worth over your third ability. Like it's super, super important. So whenever after your ultimate, empowered first ability and you can prepare it. Like you don't have to wait for your ultimate to run out. Like boom and then boom. You see, you can, you can already prepare it. Boom. Really, really powerful combo. You have to master this combo right here. And then as I said, like there is more combos with the second ability, first ability, whatever you want to do, whichever empowered ability you want to do. But I've explained the basics of it really. I don't want to get too much into your brain. These are the basics. So now let's talk about how to build karma. And as I said, there is two different builds. So let's get to it. Um, let's get to it and show you exactly how to build this champion. I prefer the carry karma, but as I said, you can play her as a support or a carry. So here is the carry build. <clears throat> you go for a Ludens Echo, then you go for a Rabidon's Death Cap, 
Um, depending on how hard you want to spam your abilities, you could even get an Archangel Staff as your second item. I don't recommend it, but you can if you really want to spam your abilities. But yeah, Rabidon's Death Cap, second item. Void Staff, third item. To be going right through their shields. You could get an Infinity Orb, third item, if the enemy is very squishy and if you're snowballing. But Void Staff, third item is just an overall safe one. Infinity Orb, then. You can get the Green Book as well. Uh, where is it? The green book. This is an incredibly good item on Karma because she does a lot of AoE damage. So this one would be very nice on her as well. And then, you know, whatever you need. Crystal Reflector, Banshee's View, Infinity Orb, whatever you need, you can get. For your boots, you always get Ionian Boots of Lucidity and then a Stasis Enchant. I forgot to show you this combo, by the way. You can use your Stasis Enchant during your second ability. Just like Morgana's Ultimate, when you chain the enemy, you can use a Stasis Enchant and then you'll still st uh, root the enemies. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you, but basically, that so stasis enchant is a very good one for karma to be able to easily hit your second ability and for the runes you go for when you play carry karma you go for electrocute second one you can either go for weakness or gathering storm if you want to deal as much damage as you can you go for a gathering storm if you want to be more of a supportive champion you can go for weakness i prefer gathering storm oops not on the not on the vampirism third one you go for conditioning to skill into the late game make you tankier you could get an early game rune like the adaptive carapace or a bone plating if you really want to have like an easy lane to win but conditioning skills incredibly well into the late game fourth rune hunter genius you don't really need the mana that's what i mean so hunter genius is going to give you a lot of ability haste and it's going to be very powerful you could get sweet tooth but hunter genius is just going to be better for the for the ability haste and for your spells you go for flash and barrier you kind of need a barrier in the early game because you're pretty weak you can go for ignite if you're feeling like a really giga chat karma but i recommend a barrier so for the support build you go for Staff of Flowing Waters. This item is broken, you always go for it. And you're going to be mainly focused on your third ability, right? And then next up, whatever you feel like you need. More often than not, an Ardent Sensor, Harmonic, Echo, Rabbitals, Deathcap, Ethians, Onori Girl. Like, it's situational as a support. Whatever you feel like you need, you get. But basically, you should always get a Staff of Flowing Waters. Ardent Sensor is really good too, because when you shield your ally, you give the Ardent Sensor to them, right? And then Harmonic Echo is also an incredibly good one for her. And for your for your enchantment, you go uh, you go for Ionic Boots of Lucidity, and then you get a Redemption, or you get the Locket, one of the two. And then for your runes, when you play her on the support, you go for Airy, because it gives you a bigger shield on your third ability. You go for a Weakness, because of your first ability slowing the enemy, and then your second ability rooting the enemy, and your ultimate dislocating the enemy as well and then here it depends what you need you could go for loyalty uh you could go for whatever like whatever you need here you can go for and then here um the reason that i have a mana flow band here is because like you're gonna get so much ability haste and even if even though staff of flowing waters provides you max mana you're just getting so much ability haste from these items and then ioni boots as well and then harmonic echo as well the mana just doesn't really compensate for it so if you feel like you need the mana you got a mana flow band because the support build is going to be a bit more mana hungry but if you really want to play her as a giga chat as i said you can get hunter genius as well so that is it for the karma guide make sure you guys give the video a like if you enjoyed it and uh, let me know in the comments what you think about it so thank you very much for watching and i will see you all in the next wild Rift video bye bye